Good morning, YouTube. It's Wednesday morning. It's Tone Solo. Things are quiet in the shop. We have a new customer for an oil change. Um, and Rachel said, do you, do you want to do an oil change? And I told her, absolutely not. I do not. But since I have nothing to do, I might as well. So uh, when I worked for Midas, uh, we weren't allowed to use the crash, burn, and die sales pitch. And I don't know why, because what is wrong with telling the customer the truth? You're going to crash, you're going to burn, and you're going to die, and you're going to hurt somebody else. So <laughs> when I looked under the hood of this guy's car, I was like, wow, the restored AC system, uh, coolant bottles leaking antifreeze, and shocked that they didn't replace that because it has brand new AC parts belt, a tensioner, I open the air cleaner, it's completely trashed, I'm like, eh, something doesn't jive here, why would you rebuild your AC system and then not replace your coolant bottle, it counter, it ca it's counterproductive to the AC system when the coolant system's leaking, uh, you have to take the air box out to replace the AC lines to have the orifice tube in it, uh, that means you have to open the air box, so I'm sure it was out of the shop, I put it up in the air, Transmission pan is about ready to leak through, <coughs> leak through from corrosion. Uh, the left front axle is leaking grease. It's not major. The upper ball joints, there's no boots left, and there's tons of powder rust coming out of them. That's a crash, burn, and die scenario. You pissing transmission fluid on, underneath the tires on the highway while you're driving and trying to stop. It's a crash, burn, and die situation. Um, so... Uh, but we were told in the 90s, don't use that as a, as, a, as a way to communicate to the customer in our sales training about their vehicle. Well, how else are you gonna to communicate to them? Say, oh, Mr. Customer, it's okay if you continue to drive this car. The only thing that will happen is the wheels will fall off, your car will scrape the ground, ruin more things, possibly hurt you, your passengers, and somebody else. Uh, your James Bond transmission fluid spraying underneath your car, because that's gonna happen sooner than later, to put you into a spin out, cause a major catastrophe and major accident, and you know, and hurt many people um, from your negligence. So, I think crash, burn, and die um, verbiage has its place, especially in our industry. Thanks for watching.